sexual perspective. Now, live on Live 105, your hosts, Ken McPherson and Val Keenan. Good morning, I'm Val Keenan. Say that again to me, Val. Good morning, I'm Val Keenan. <laughs> no, my part. And you Good are. Mor- oh, that's right, <laughs> Ken McPherson. Well, the tired one- Ken McPherson. It's one of those mornings. Have you ever been there and you have to get up early in the morning and you start getting up and then the phone rings? Mm. And on the other end, it's Val Keenan saying, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> and you look at the clock and you go, I have oh. to be in the studio in about, oh, one minute. <laughs> Thank you for calling. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Well, we're here with Live 105 and Hibernia Beach this morning. We're going to open up ye old phone lines. It's uh, January. It is the new year. of the gay pulse of San Francisco. So uh, in just a second, we're going to be saying, why don't you all give us a call? That's right. This is and, the phone number here. And we will uh, ask you what you think about what's going on with with uh, the community here in San Francisco and where we need to be going uh, this next year. We've been doing this every year for the past couple of years. I'm delighted, first of all, with this New Year's to have a Val Keenan here <laughs> to be <laughs> doing this with. Who will call me up and say, Ken, where are you? Uh, in the morning. And we have another person who is actually here uh, joining us this morning. Yes. Larry, good morning. Good morning. And Larry is our new associate producer. Oh, boy. Larry Adams what a, is his what name. What a title is that, huh? That's right. <laughs> and you have a background here in broadcasting, right? Yes, I have a background of... Seven years in commercial radio, most of which is out of this market, but that's another story. Yeah, market, market. What's that mean? Where What's are you from? Mean? Well, I, I'd like to um, introduce myself by saying I come from Great Falls, Montana, and I bring with me the, the experience of having lived in Phoenix, Arizona, and Dallas, mm-hmm. Texas, and I'd like to think I bring a little bit of if I may say, the moderate side to the table. <laughs> moderate side. You keep saying that. And I keep saying, Larry, I'm minute. already the moderate that's side. That doesn't mean most. I'm over the edge on the right-hand side. Yeah, what does it mean exactly? You wake up dreaming about Rush Limbaugh in the oh, morning? Oh, God, and... no, no, I wouldn't say that. No, okay, that what's, what's a, a moderate? Stretch. What's a moderate? A Midwestern transplanted San Franciscan moderate. What's that supposed <laughs> okay, to mean? Okay, I guess that means I, uh, I can bring to the table the... The slightly conservative view, or the uh, less, than, less than far left view. Just, is, is that? Uh, See, that you aren't you? doing this well. You're <laughs> scaring me. Do we Vague. really want? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, forget about that. That's okay. You know, you know what I went to last night, Val. Actually, what? you do know, because. Well, I know. I all I know is that I all I know is that you uh, were out raising some funds for some group, but I don't know what. I don't know. Actually, I was pushing the Life Lobby's name out there. One of the tasks that I took on during this past year was with the Lobby for Individual Freedom and Equality, which is our Sacramento-based state umbrella organization that acts both as a Congress for the lesbian and gay community across the country, and also uh, has a couple of paid lobbyists up in Sacramento doing our bidding. We are. California, your drum roll, <laughs> gay and lesbian agenda. That's right. There actually is one. There is one. one. Yeah. Yes. And last night we were at a fundraiser put on by Digital Queers, our <clears> friends <throat> out there. We had them on a month or so ago. Right. Uh, for Frameline, which is the Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. And you know one of the cool things about being gay, about being gay at this point of things is, is uh, as we become increasingly trendy people well let me just say it robin williams dropped in oh hey! we're finally to the point wow. in our little gay fundraiser events where you can be sitting in there and they introduce the special guest and instead of it being uh how do i say this with all due respect the super visorio candidate yes <laughs> yes uh it's it's somebody like robin williams who just absolutely had uh the audience in, in stitches. Well, no, um, yeah, he, so he did some, some kind of a stand-up deal, or did he, some kind of speech? Yeah, what did he, do? he did 20 minutes. It was great. It's great. Wow. It was like, okay, I paid 25 bucks to go do frame line, you know, mm-hmm, to, mm-hmm. to go do a little stuff there. And, and you, of course, told him to listen this morning, because we would be mentioning this. So. Uh, Hi, yeah, Robin. like I had access <laughs> to Robin Williams, you know, just like, <laughs> like you'd expect. There's this little covey crowd of people surrounding him. So do you think that, um, <clears throat> that more and more, it seems to me that more and more celebrities are willing to come to and support 
again, there's been issues, but that's yeah. certainly a big name. Well, let's face it, Robin Williams also, it's real clear to tell that he is an advanced uh, person when it when it comes to some of our issues. Right. Well, we said we're going to open the phones, and uh, as part of New Year's, we're going to be doing that. Our phone number here in San Francisco is 478-LIVE, and we have an 800 number for those of you on the south and the east bay, <coughs> 1-800-696-1053. And we've got a caller already. I don't know what the caller is going to ask about, but let's find out. Hi, Moon. You on the air? Yes. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. I, I'm so jealous you got into the Digital Queers gig. I wanted to go to that so bad. I was at Macworld all day yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, that's something that's very exciting to me, too, talking about trendy stuff for the future. In addition to having production meetings each week, Val and I are now having these weekly conversations about Technology. That's right, and yeah. how we're going to mm -hmm. apply it to our show. It's well, definitely the way to go. So I, what are you calling about, Moon? I well, haven't quite managed to ask a question yet, but since well, you called, yeah, you're on. I just thought I'd get it on the line before the, they filled up. Aren't you usually on at 7.30? Nope, 7 o'clock. Really? 7 okay. o'clock. I have written that's, down wrong then. That's right. I, I listened <clears> last week for the first time. I, this is a great program. I just wish it wasn't on so early in the morning. But I set my alarm so I can get up just so I can hear you guys. Wow. Terrific. That's great. If you'd like to communicate that to the <laughs> station, <laughs> that, that will be tolerated in, yeah. in, in one way or another. So yeah. what was the coolest thing at, uh, at Macworld that you saw? The coolest thing yeah. at Macworld? Well, I only actually got to go in for just a little while. We were doing some of the flyering out front. But um, yeah. believe it or not, there was kind of, I don't know if this was the best part, but there was an adult section <laughs> at Macworld, and there were like 30 different booths. And one of the things on display was the very first all-male interactive kind of uh, CD-ROM video kind of uh, event. Mm -hmm. that, that's the headline that I got last night. There was a gay CD-ROM yeah. at <laughs> Macworld. The very first one in the world, and, and it, was, it was pretty interesting. That's, that's really great. Could, let me ask you something, yeah. Moon. One of the things that we're seeing in the gay press this week, will the next Harvey Milk please stand yeah, up? I've and seen that. What's, what's going to happen to the, to the gay community this next year? What do you think we ought to be doing this next year? What do you well, think should be number one on our agenda? What I'd like to see happen, I, I just moved out here a little over a year ago, and what I see a lot of, is uh, I thought there was going to be a lot more unity. That's what I moved out here for, and it seems like there's a lot there's a lot going on in the queer community, but it seems like everybody's kind of branched off in a different mm -hmm. direction, and I just wish that everyone could kind of organize more together. There's so many different groups to go to, and it just seems like everybody's going off in a different direction and forgetting that we're all here and we're all queer. Well, we this all is something that I wanted to ask everybody here. It's my experience. <laughs> it's my experience that people come together when they have an issue to come together around. Yeah. Now, last year we had gay in the military, military, and let's face it, that did not attract a whole bunch of gay people. Well, I don't know about you, but I really don't want to go into the military, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm afraid they would draft me. I'm, I'm with the with an age. That's mm -hmm. kind of the point. That well, well, they're not, they're not, they're not dismissing people anymore, are they? Uh, if you, yes, 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 they are. Yes, really? America, you bet. Uh, the only difference between last year and this year in gay in the military is they will not ask you if you are gay when you go in. However, if you were to mention during your recruiting interview your boyfriend Herbie, yeah. <laughs> thereby flaunting, <laughs> flaunting your homosexuality, you would be yes. out faster yes. than you can imagine. <laughs> as to as to the reality of what the new policy is going to mean, uh, only probably January 1st of next year will give us enough empirical data to tell. One thing's for sure, just over the past week, uh, the Justice Department uh, and our good old friends at the Clinton administration uh, appear to be going after Joseph Stefan again. They had an right. option of letting that one go. And uh, the, the three justices appointed by Carter, 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 <laughs> Carter that uh, made it easier on Stefan uh, have been uh, challenged by seven Reagan-appointed justices 
and they may be taking another look at the Stefan case. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Boy, this can't get any better than that. You know, I guess my point is, if, if the section of the gay community that wants to be in the military stands up and says, we want to be in the military, we want that right, and we want the support of the gay community, uh... Yeah, I, 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 would, I would demonstrate and I would fight for for our queers right to be in the military. I like the answer to that, but you know what? That's what didn't happen, and that's what I think is is the gist. Well, I wrote my letters. I, I moved out here from Modesto, and we wrote our letters and, you know, picketed in our in our little city before we came out here. We tried to do everything that we could. And All right, Moon, it's right good. on. You know, it, it's hard it's being an activist in the Central Valley, I'll tell you. I bet. <laughs> We were big queers on campus, and it was hard. <laughs> and, and something you have to know is that moving to San Francisco is no panacea uh, when it comes to activism. Yeah. You are exactly from your experience going to find that people are uh, going to be competing for a position. Oh, sure. It's hard it's all over. Just it's political in the gay world as it is anywhere else. But it's, it's a healthy challenge. Yeah. Well, Moon, is there anything else you wanted to go into I, while I, we're I would like on the to, line? I would like to see more activism and more interest on this coast. There's a lot of it going on on the East Coast because that's where they're based for the Equal Rights Marriage Fund. That's something mm. that is very strong in my mind. I've been with my lover nearly three years now. What is that? Yeah. I've never even heard of it. The Equal Rights Marriage Fund uh, is Patrick Gill and Craig Dean, they were the, the two men from Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. who are suing the, the district for uh, the right to marry because there is no ah. sort of, there's no uh, uh, reference yeah. to orientation in the district's uh, uh, policy on getting married. And um, we, we've been supporting them, you know, 15 bucks here, 20 sure. bucks there, whatever we can support. And, you know, they did the talk show rounds and everything, but there just isn't a lot of publicity about them. I can tell you part of the myopia, once again, that I find within the San Francisco Bay Area community is pretty much if it ain't happened in San Francisco, it ain't happened in anywhere in the world. Well, and yep. I think that's a big shame. Yeah, it is a shame because it, this, this shouldn't have to be the Mecca and, and it shouldn't have to be a non-issue if they don't have a chapter here. Well, the, the good news, I can tell you, because again, I, I do my little radio stint here, but a lot of the work that I do is out there in the political world, particularly mm -hmm. with the Life Lobby, which is again the state of California's umbrella organization. We have already begun to launch the drum roll once again, and most people don't even know about this, statewide domestic partners. Uh, legislation. That would be incredible. Right. You know what that would mean, Moon? I, is I, that we just became domestic partners in October. Oh, congratulations. That was one of the right. reasons we moved out here because this, this county allows that. Oh, that's really Terrific. great. Very exciting. Well, well you know what incredible. we want to see? What is part of our vision is that you from Modesto, and uh, let's imagine that you were a very nervous, closeted person and you didn't necessarily living in Modesto want to go to Modesto City Hall. And well, show up your face and say, hi, I'm here with my honey, we're gay and we want to be registered. Because that could obviously... That wasn't the, the case, but I'll play along. Sure. <laughs> that, that could put the damper on an awful lot of gay people. Let's face it, the overwhelming majority of gay people out there, sorry, straight America, is still in the closet. Yeah. Uh, and, there's, and we have to find ways of inducing them to take stronger positions in their, uh, their relationships and their connection with the community. And hopefully this legislation would allow that two people could write to a central office in Sacramento and register through that means. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And be declared domestic partners. Well, I now, think that's kind of a neat idea, but I think that, that, you know, that doesn't sound like very much gay pride to me. Well, you know, there's three different tracks, and there's three different sets of opinions. Remember what yeah. a diverse community yeah. this is? We are very there's diverse. A, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of people out there who don't want to be married, thank you very much. They think that marriage is a, quote, flawed heterosexual institution. So amongst the people that I'm dealing with, there are three tracks going on. One is domestic partners, which is kind of creating a new institution, and that's not just for gay people, but that yeah. might also be for elderly people who need to declare a legal relationship so that they can afford to live in a modern world. Uh, gay people, 
although there there will be many hooks into this don't for those people who are saying oh this is just going to be some way of getting tax breaks and it's going to cost us all kinds of money and this is phony. If only we get nothing for this we get a little certificate the end i can visit him in prison or the hospital that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, the, that's, that's, that's about the same title that's, that's, the, that's the truth but there's yeah. some people who getting that much that's going to be a real step forward and they don't want any more then there's marriage and th there's a whole set of of other dynamics involved with getting gay marriage and then there's definitions of the extended family most of us who are working on this stuff are trying to look at these as three similar but separate issues that will be worked on at different rates because frankly if you think about it like in the state of california it's going to be easier to pass domestic partners than it is gay marriage mm -hmm. mm, yeah i i think that that'll that'll probably be the first step and and i i've read a lot about in hawaii about the, how their supreme court's about ready to overturn and you know what's going to happen as a result of that moon we have these neat religion you know rush limbaugh goes around saying feminazis folks well i'm going to start talking about the religion nazis oh good we good have one good call i love it the, the religion nazis the like, religious wrong <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like lou sheldon lou sheldon would love to do a colorado-like initiative here in california but so far at least he doesn't believe he's got a chance of doing that. Well, let's not get complacent. But you know what he thinks he can do is go forward with a constitutional amendment in California that says, thou shalt never be any gay marriage. He's hmm. betting that there are enough straight people that, well, they don't want to oppose gay rights, will, on the other hand, say, well, but marriage, that's, a, that's an institution for a man mm -hmm. and a woman. Procreation. And yeah, that right. You know, and he might be right. So one of the things that we're doing by advancing this legislation from the beginning is testing the waters. By putting this legislation out there, we're going to be able to start counting right now, before we're on the defensive with these bozos, yeah, how great. many state senators and state legislators are supportive of us, how many are on the fence, and how many are damning us to hell. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that right there, if we're going to try to build a political machine, and that's what I'd sure like to dedicate this next year to in California, that's what we need to do. Where do I sign up? <laughs> uh, I think you're the kind of person who's already doing it, Moon, and yeah. that's another thing I think we're going to need to talk about more on this show, is what specific steps do people take in order to get signed up? And the first step, I can tell you, is to join a group, any group. Yeah. If you want to be queer identified, find a queer identified group and work it. But don't you think that just by going to some two cent little demonstration in which you get your maybe your face on TV for a second that you're doing something right. in the, the gay is, community? The thing is that I think that people really need to find their anger and maybe not directed in a violent way, but, but it's because, you know, it's a lot of work going to, <clears throat> you get off work, you get home, you go to a demonstration. And it's like, you know what, you just can't stop. You've just got to find the motivation. You've but just once got you to find the momentum. I agree with you, Moon, but you know what really bothers me? So many people uh, these days, I love it, I'm sounding so old, seem <laughs> to think that once you find your anger and you go out on your street and you express it, that you've done something. And yeah, you haven't. Ongoing thing. It takes I more than just on. being angry in public. Uh, Oh, God, I hope I'm okay with the FCC. It's a kind of political masturbation. It feels real good to you, but it doesn't do a heck of a lot for anybody else. Yeah. You've got to keep going, and you've got to keep doing it, and you've got you've you've to realize if it doesn't happen for us, it'll happen for the next generation. And in addition to the fun stuff, going on the street and screaming at Lou Sheldon, you also have to take a couple of hours to coordinate your mailing list and all that tedious, dreary, boring work that all those little blue-haired ladies mm -hmm. in the churches seem to like to do. Make it a brunch. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and let's face it, our blue-haired ladies are far more stylish than their blue-haired right. ladies. <laughs> That's right. With our blue yeah. boots as well. That's right. <laughs> well, Moon, thanks a lot thanks for calling in. Thanks very in. much for taking my call. Sorry to dominate your show. Oh, no, no, okay. that's okay. That's well, the whole point I, I, of this I can thing. write to you at KITS, right? And you can write mm -hmm. to KITS and uh, make any suggestions as how the show might improve that you well, want to. You mentioned something earlier that you might like to see. Well, I tried to uh, access you through the what line, mm -hmm. and nothing's on there for hypernia B. Larry, Mr. What line, what's going on with the what line? The what line is there. I, when did you call? Well, I think it was last Sunday, right okay. after the show. We did, we did have a temporary computer glitch, glitch that has been fixed. 
So now if you call 357 what, and then you need to select six. That and is then, number six for Hypernia Beach. That right. number again, 357 what. Everybody do it. That's right. W H A T. Then you press six. Hit six, and then hit 90 for program information, and then 91 for the resource line. And on the resource line, we update that every week, and we have a variety of things, including... Um, various social events as well as uh, that's right phone numbers for thing you know organizations you can call little bits for Val's life you <laughs> know her, her and by the way the for all of yeah. you listening we did not pay Moon to um, <laughs> help not at all not at all <laughs> although we might be willing to pay that's some right. of you to make phone calls like this thank like, you Moon I didn't realize you were looking for somebody in radio I should have called you sooner <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I love job. technology <laughs> oh so do I Moon thank you so much. Very much thank Bye. you you're listening to Hibernia Beach on Live 105 and uh, we have been uh, opening up the phone lines and again the number here at Live 105 is 478 L I V E, and for those of you who need a toll free number in the South and East Bay, it's 1 800 696 1053. We'll be right back.